On my way. Maybe a little slower this time. Despite reducing speed, giving the mines more time to register the passing hovercraft, the Heinemann gets away unharmed. <laughs> Not a thing. That was beautiful. Yeah! Well, there you have it. We drove across the minefield with a vehicle, and we're setting off the mines. The hovercraft, not so much. <laughs> I was right! I like being right every now and then. Look, it may seem counterintuitive to you that a 600-pound hovercraft can't set off a mine engineered to go off at 300 pounds, but this myth is all about the exact kind of pressure. A human foot, a car tire, those are point sources of pressure. But the hovercraft is distributing its weight across its entire footprint, across the entire cushion of air that it's riding on. That's why it can't set off our minds. <laughs> And that's why it is the perfect craft for making its way across a minefield. But it still weighs 600 pounds. How well does it spread that load? And can a hovercraft cross any minefield at any pressure setting? Now it's the moment of truth. Our minefield is set to an anti-personnel pressure. That is 35 pounds to trigger our mines. I've already walked it and shown that I'm plenty to trigger it. OK, Adam, you're good to go. All right, here we go, traversing a minefield in a hovercraft set to anti-personnel setting in three, two, here we go. Same thing, no mine action. Yeah! That is awesome! The mines set to go off at the lightest footstep are once again unmoved. Adam then does his best to linger with several 360s. Yeah. Can you hold it in one spot? <laughs> but the hovercraft and its cushion of air defies death from below. This point, it's looking mighty good for this myth. But are we done? Come on, you know us. You know we're going to take it to the most extreme place we can. That's what we're about to do. So we've set this to go off at five pounds. The Easter Bunny could set this off. <laughs> OK, here we go. It's the ultimate test for this myth. The Heinemann and Hovercraft are 120 times heavier than each mine's threshold. But once again, they float serenely across unharmed. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't set off a single mine. That is beautiful. I love it. So how does this work? Well, the answer's in the numbers. If you divide the weight of the hovercraft by the contact area, you get about 0 0.06 pounds per square inch of downward pressure. So there's not nearly enough pressure per square inch. Well, I got to say, I think this is about as easy a myth to call as we've ever encountered. Yeah, it's confirmed. Totally confirmed. The hovercraft is the absolute vehicle of choice for traversing a minefield. Sure is. I got to figure out how to get myself one of these. What? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Are you okay? I'm... How am I supposed to get out of this minefield? Coming up on this explosive final season farewell. 84 pounds of dynamite, 185 pounds of pure man. <laughs> 